Hi there and welcome to Andy Robinson RC. Cheers for checking out the channel today and joining us on this latest episode. Okay, so it's been a while since I've been in the studio. Um, it's been about, about six about six videos ago now, so it feels like a quite a while. Um, so I've got something, I mean, <laughs> it doesn't look over, over thrilling at the moment, but I promise you, it's cool. Um, so I've got something to show you today that we're going to be building on the channel. And uh, if, in fact, if you saw our video video from about, I think it was two or three episodes ago, it was at the, the Blackpool Model Show. Uh, I went around there and uh, they had the hovercrafts. And obviously that gives it away, doesn't it? And probably it does in the title of the video. But um, yes, basically I've bought a hovercraft kit to build. So something completely different for the channel. I thought it'd make a cool change and uh, there's something uh, interesting to have on the show. So I'm going to be looking at the Palaform X500 hovercraft. So we'll have a look at that. Also, if you caught the last video, it was on the Tandy uh, Red Arrow. Now I've been working on that as well. Um, so I just thought I'd show you. <laughs> there it is. So a quick look, I will be getting this out again at some point. So uh, I've painted up the body shell, took all the old decals off, and um, again, detailed the, the engine as well a bit, and the driver figure all got painted up. And uh, I'm, I'm not sure it's 100% done. I'd like to find some extra decals for it. But, uh, so that's carried on as well. I even raced it last Wednesday at my local club, and I uh, put it in the, the grasshopper class because it pretty much... A hopper and um surprisingly i didn't think it uh, how well it was gonna i didn't know how well it was gonna go but i actually took tq um in the uh for the final but um unfortunately i had to retire in the end uh, it still works but there's a, there's a niggling gearbox fault with it so i need to look into that anyway so uh, that'll be back on the show at some point so i just thought i'd give you a, a quick uh, glimpse of the tiny red arrow that is no longer red so i'm going to pull that out of the way a minute I'm back on to what we're actually looking at today. So we're looking at the Palaform X500 hovercraft. Now, as I said, um, you, you see a bit better glimpse of them on my previous videos um, at the Blackpool Model Fair. So what I will do is I'll leave a link uh, to that video in the description. And also, if you didn't see the Tandy Red Arrow video, I'll, uh, I'll leave a, 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 the video link in this uh, description as well. But there you go. So that's what you get. Actually, box, and uh, we're going to have a look into it. Okay. Now, I do know um, you don't get uh, the, the kit's very sort of like sparse. It's quite a basic kit. Now, they do several different models, and now this is probably the most basic model they do. Uh, but I thought, uh, considering the budget at the minute, and um, you know, giving something a first try, I thought I'd just start with the basic one, uh, which I say is the X500. Um, now I did actually have a go on one of the hovercraft models at the show and it was a bit of a more expensive model uh, it was like a four channel six channel um, hovercraft this is only going to be a two channel one and uh, it was certainly different from racing a car or driving a car uh, I think if you're used to operating planes then it probably wasn't a problem so I'm also like, hoping for a, a, a novice to hovercraft this will be a little easier to control Anyway, uh, let's get the parts out and uh, we'll have a quick look in the box. So, as so you get instructions with it. Now, the kit for everything, it costs me I think about £58 off the top of my head. Uh, I will leave the, uh, the website in the video description as well, so you can go and check them out for yourselves. But yeah, this kit um, cost me uh, about £58. The only thing I didn't get with it is the uh, your handset receiver and the uh, the battery that you need for it uh, other that's extra other than that you get everything you need okay so yeah bear with me we've got to put all this out <laughs> all right. so because the box is uh, quite a weighty thing we'll a weighty thing sorry Totally wrong words there. And then, because the box is quite large, we'll get that out of the way. Okay, so we'll put the parts out and I can show you 
Now, <laughs> just got to look at it now and remind me what's what. Yes, okay. So, you've got these Corex sheets here. I think it's Corex. And uh, all these um, make the, uh, oh, that's actually one folded out. You can't see me. It's probably difficult to see in the light. All these make the, uh, the, the frame and the cab of the hovercraft. So you get them with it there. Now they're uh, basically, you uh, from what I, I remember, is uh, the only pressing out, cutting out, and uh, bonding with hot glue, basically. Um, or uh, the, you know, the double-sided tape that you sometimes get in your RC kits. And it's pretty much as simple as that as constructing it. So that actually forms the basis of your entire hovercraft. Okay. And then here, again, these are a bit like the uh, the Lexan wings or polycarbonate bodies or however you want to call them in your, well, you know, your kits. And uh, yeah, this and uh, again, that's that literally. If I get it right around, I've got it right around now. It's that way then. And that literally sticks in there as well. This is obviously for your propeller. It's for, uh, you know, propulsion of the hovercraft. And just so you know, I'm so not technical. <laughs> get your instructions there, all on there. And, uh, yeah, it is uh, basic instructions, but it tells you exactly how you need to make it. So really, you need you understand that they're only a small independent company, uh, but they've been going a, a you know at least when the the manual printed for this is 2015. So if they started in 2015, then that's what eight years ago. So that's uh, and I didn't even see them the year before at the model show, and I wanted to get a hovercraft then, but I didn't get a chance. Um, so yeah, just a couple of things, but it's all in there, all. All colour pictures for your instructions as well, how to build it. It should, the the um, the owner of the business I was talking to him, he said, shouldn't really take more than a couple of hours just to build up the, uh, you know, the frame and uh, the chassis, basically, of the, of the hovercraft. And, uh, yeah, it's all in there. And here we go. There you go. That's a bit better. You'll get an idea of uh, what the hovercraft looks like. You can see that picture there. Hopefully the light's not too much right, but you'll get an idea of what the hovercraft's going to look like. So, that's your instructions. Uh, obviously, you've got some uh, a few decals there just to uh, liven it up once it's built. So, you've got your window decals, and you've got some, like that, I suppose, bodywork decals for it as well, just to jazz it up. Now, in here, I'm not going to take it out, in case I don't get it back. Oh, no. Sorry. We'll take it out actually. <laughs> now that in this thing here, I'm sure you'll know that a uh, I suppose it's referred to as a skirt. The hovercrafts have a skirt that go goes all the way around, and obviously uh, when you press the throttle, that fills with air, and hence it being a hovercraft. Well, this is the uh, basically let's have a look. This is the skirt that goes around the. Uh, the hovercraft, yeah. not exactly like that, but this, this is it you get with it, okay, so you get that in there as well in the kit, now the chap who uh, runs the company said that these last, obviously depending on what surface you're running on, uh, depends how quick the skirt wears through, but they're easy to replace, and they actually just fix on with the, like, the servo tape or double sticky tape basically, um, I know it doesn't sound overly complicated, but it works. I've seen it. <laughs> um, so it is, as I said, depending if you're going to run it over like uh, gravel and uh, tarmac, it's going to the skirt's going to last uh, last not as long. It will last a bit, but it'll wear out quicker. Uh, he said the grass not ideal for these. It will go over very sort of you know thin, so probably bowling green grass uh, reasonably well, but generally um, you know your best surface floor is like a, a wooden floor or the uh, you know tile floors or something something similar to that maybe some there very you know carpet so depending what you where you run them on um, the skirt will last 
you know, a different amount of time. Now, in here, these pretty much are your electrics for it, as in minus, as is what I said, minus the, uh, call it the uh, receiver. But you do get everything else. Uh, just the electrics, brilliant. It's a uh, thirty-four pounds for that. That was included. That was included in the fifty-eight pound I bought the kit for. Um, thirty amp PSC, just in there. Nothing super complicated at all. But uh, it is a it's a little uh, is it brushless? Yes, brushless thirty amp ESC. You did recommend you can run them brush, but you did really recommend having this brushless. And then you've got your outboard motor in there and. It's a 1400 kV motor, it's only digi. It says, I don't know if it's a 10 turn, but it says 10T on it, so we'll see. I don't know, but it's a 1400, uh, I don't, yeah, that might just be a code number to be honest, ignore that. Um, yeah, it's 1400 kV uh, motor that you need. And uh, get that there. Your little micro um, servo, nine gram micro servo in there. That's obviously to, so you can change direction of the, the hovercraft. Okay. And that is your propeller there as well that you need. Now, it did say if you're building one of these up, um, but once you mount the, the blade into the propeller mount there, it said you do need to shave some off to get it balanced. You need it balanced. No good if it like mm, moves on its own. So you need to have it balanced. So use the curved blade to just take some of the material off, depending on which side needs altering. Um, so it'll uh, lie, not lie flat, but you know it, it won't move on it on its own. It'll um, lie perfectly uh, straight. So you need to do that. So you need to balance the prop, else it'll cause vibration issues later on. So you do need to do that. Uh, but that, that is it. That is essentially the kit. So what I will do is we'll bring the camera over because um, you know so you can have a bit of a close closer look. Now I think this is uh, pretty damn cool. This you know we've had plenty of cars on the show. I'm not gonna you know this isn't gonna be like new territory where I'm starting to get in loads of planes, boats, and all sorts of. Things. Um, but I, I just thought the hovercraft was really cool. So uh, hence you know. I did want to try one of these out. So anyway, I'll stop faffing around. <laughs> uh, and we'll get the uh, we'll get the camera over and you can have a little bit of a closer look. Marvellous. And uh, hopefully we'll get this uh, running fairly soon. Right, let's get the camera over for you. Okay, so as you can see, a bit closer up, just so you know what you're getting. There's your decals there. Instruction manual at the back. They can be found on Facebook and YouTube as well. So there's the skirt that I pointed out to you. That's the skirt for the, uh, the hovercraft itself. Which inflates on the throttle. And then obviously that helps you uh, move. <laughs> And then you've got um, the uh, propeller housing there, your uh, actual propeller there, propeller blade. And then you've got the uh, 1400 kV brushless motor. It's only quite a small motor, but believe me, it's certainly powerful enough. Uh, you've got your uh, 30 amp brushless ESC, 9 gram micro servo. And then here, which is difficult to see, but it's only sort of white <laughs> and sort of transparent. But all that there, that forms the SR, the hull is the word I want. The hull and um, the cab for the the hovercraft. So there you go. So, uh, yeah, really looking forward to uh, getting this done. I'm not entirely sure when it will get it done, but um, we're going to give it a go and hopefully we'll, we'll get it done soon. I think it'll be, a, it'll be a great to see this one running. So, yeah, um, bit of a different, uh, bit of a change on the channel. Let me know what you think. Hope you look forward to seeing it going like I do. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll we'll catch you all on the next video. Do go check out Palaform Limited. I'll leave uh, any websites account in the video description for you as well. Anyway, that's going to wrap up this video. 
thank you very much for checking this one out again um, i do apologize if i haven't been on top of things lately catching up with videos and comments struggling a bit at the moment with the various things going on uh, so i do apologize in that but your support is always a hundred percent welcome right okay um we'll uh, take care of yourselves we'll see you all soon and uh yeah cheers for joining us don't forget if you haven't subscribed already you can do by going onto youtube and searching for andy robinson rc or just by simply pressing the subscribe video uh, the subscribe button i should say and also come check us out on facebook and instagram under andy robinson rc right look after yourselves take care and we'll see you all soon bye